So I have a really, really cool effect, something super easy and simple, kind of a skill that grows with you that you can try in your designs that I'm gonna teach you today. We're gonna learn how to take pictures and vectorize elements that we want to use in our designs. So I've got these records here that my sister-in-law procured just from doing a pop-up and some guy was nice and gave her some records probably that are kind of old or warped or scratched and what she does is she paints on them but I went out there and I found ones that have little elements that I want to vectorize and use in my designs stuff like this type right here the Lord takes care of everybody is super sick I could see that on a tote bag a hat or on the back of a shirt this awesome western like looking stagecoach is so sick we also have fonts like this right here in kittle as well and then let's look at this one so on this one take this out of the paper this kind of like stereo sound logo just a little little square element right there on the two sides i want to take a picture of that and vectorize that as well and on this last one this might be kind of challenging but we're going to try to take this little kind of cupid looking illustration here and vectorize that for some designs now, before we get into any vectorizing, any designing, I want to make sure that you know that you need to do your own research when it comes to any sort of copywriting, when, like with the illustrations and the fonts. If I would not advise just taking a picture of a bunch of different fonts and words to use in your designs. If you can figure out that they're open source and you have a commercial license to them or it's just a free commercial license to everybody, go for it. Now, if you're designing just for yourself or a friend, you're making a poster for your office or a tote bag or a t-shirt for yourself or a friend just as a gift, this is totally fine. I would not worry about this. The problem arises when you try to start selling stuff on like Amazon or Etsy. If you get in high volume and somebody notices that you're using a copyrighted element that you don't have the rights to that you just vectorize, you may get yourself in some trouble. But for the purposes of just learning how to do this, me taking a picture of these with my phone and vectorizing them in Kittle is not gonna give us any issues. So I'm gonna start with this text piece right here. So I'm just gonna get my phone, get my camera app out, and just take a picture of this, and I'm just gonna airdrop it over to my computer. Awesome, so I've got this picture in here. Awesome resolution right there. Obviously, the newer iPhones take amazing photos. So the first thing that we're gonna wanna do is kind of crop out anything that we don't wanna vectorize. We can do that by just double clicking on the photo. Just two clicks and that'll open up your crop window. I can crop this down and I'm just gonna get it within the confines of, of the stuff that I want to vectorize. We don't need any of this other stuff around. We don't want, take, want to take a chance of like there being a scratch or something on the paper that gets vectorized and we can't get rid of it. We're just gonna crop this to the central design. And then after that's done, we can hit this exit cropping mode right there. And we're gonna use this right here, our image vectorizer. And I'm just gonna do one color for this because I know that there's enough contrast between the background and the text. It's gonna take the black, it's gonna take the darker color, essentially. If you're wondering, oh, if I vectorize this, which color is it gonna take? It's gonna take the darker color, always. If you wanna be even safer, you can up the contrast on an image to where the text stands out even more from the background. So we're gonna vectorize this. Boom, perfect. This looks awesome. I mean, it, it, it's even gonna be a little bit different based on how you took the picture, what angle you took the picture at. And this isn't even necessarily one for one how this was typed. It's gonna have these specific little divots and indentations and whatnot that make it imperfect and make it kind of human. It makes it very organic. And so I'm just gonna scale this somewhere in the middle of my artboard and we're just gonna see what this looks like mocked up on the back of a t-shirt. I mean, it's as simple as that. We're just gonna mock this up right here. So this is the front of a t-shirt. I'm gonna go for the back and white is fine as a color. And I mean, that looks pretty awesome. Just on the back of a t-shirt, I would definitely wear that. We also have a bunch of tote bags. This would be pretty awesome on a tote bag as well. If I just put this right here, I mean, that that's sick. Like that's really, really cool. You could very, very easily get some very unique designs pretty quickly by just vectorizing some stuff that you see around you. I would 100% order this as a gift for somebody. That's 
absolutely awesome. Here's another cool mock-up. I mean, that, boom. I Put that on an Etsy shop, man. Put, put that on an Etsy shop and tell me that that won't sell. That's so, so awesome. I'm just gonna send this to Drew right now. He just messaged me back and said it's dope. So we already know this is awesome. Cool, I'm gonna go back into my layers panel and I'm just gonna hide this one. I don't wanna get rid of it. I don't wanna have to go through that process again, but I am going to hide that layer right there. And then I'm gonna go into my next one. I'm going to try to vectorize this stagecoach right here. So I'm gonna get my phone back out and I'm just gonna take a little picture of this and I can airdrop this over to my computer as well. Awesome, I've got my photo right here. I'll just size this up. Super, super clean. Again, we're gonna double click and crop this just to what we want to vectorize. Then we can exit the cropping mode. Perfect. And then I might up the contrast a little bit to get rid of more of the background. You can already kind of see what it's gonna look like when it's vectorized, I'm really excited. So we're gonna to go to the image vectorizer and we're gonna click vectorize image. I love this tally ho right here on the on the stage coach. I mean, that is absolutely sick. I mean, that, that you could even just use that. But we do have some cool Western fonts. And so I'm gonna go and I'm just gonna type in Western. And these fonts are gonna come up, maybe something like this. You could say like, yee haw. And you could just get experimental with this. I mean, that's that's pretty awesome. I'm, I'm, not, gonna, I'm not gonna lie, I would definitely wear this on something. Boop, boop, right there. Let's go ahead and try to mock this up as well. So we're gonna click mock up. Back to another t-shirt, let's just try that. Maybe we can find a t-shirt mock-up that somebody's wearing that shows the back. Like this one's cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I do like that. You can maybe put some text under this. Let's go back to our tote bags again. I do like this one. I mean, come on, that's sick. Like, oh my gosh, that's awesome. Maybe towards the bottom. I gotta, I gotta send it to Drew. I gotta do it, because this is dope and he's gonna like it. So Drew said even with some big yeehaw text above it, it would look cool. So I'm gonna add that as well. Boop, let's do that size that guy up yeah that looks really really great size that in something like this and let's go to mock that up let's try that on the shirt and the tote bag again so shirts i think we use this guy right here that's awesome and the tote bag let's try the tote bag again i mean that's just good like there's not that's only ever going to be awesome and western is huge right now as well <laughs> he just said oh yeah that's good it's good it just is it's just good so I'm gonna select these things and I'm gonna group them. Might save these designs for something, might get them printed, you never know, you might see them show up in another video, that would be cool. Moving on to our next record, I'm going to try to vectorize one of these stereo logos. I'm gonna use the one on the left because the one on the right is pretty close to the black part of the record and I don't want it to obstruct the icon in any way. So I got this, I'm gonna airdrop this over to my computer, get this uploaded and let's see what we can do with this. We might need to do couple little tricks here because this does have a lot of red in it and technically the red is the darker color in this picture so we could also vectorize two colors here let's try that first so I'm gonna go to my image vectorizer and I'm gonna click two colors and this should give us the red and the white and then we can just get rid of the red so we're gonna take this red right here boop get rid of that select the tan and black and now it's not perfect, but I actually kind of like it this way. It's, it's a little imperfect and it also kind of helps with the copyright thing because it's not a one for one. It's kind of a, as if you kind of hand drew it and then vectorized it, kind of helps you out a little bit there. Let's say we like put this in the center. So I'm gonna add some text to this. I'm gonna just hit T and this gives me like 90s vibe. So I'm gonna use Playfair display and I'm gonna up the font size quite a bit here just size it up and then I'm gonna close the letter spacing a lot like negative 80 is probably good and I'm gonna say something like stereo sound maybe put this underneath and size it so that the edges of the text meet the edge of that let's try a hoodie for this one if I find the, a cool back of a hoodie or something like this one's nice that's pretty dope I do like that a lot you could use this gal right here, that's an awesome design. Or even on the front of a hoodie, you could put this on the front. Ah, yeah. Now that looks better. Just because it's boxy, it's kind of like a front logo type deal. I like that a lot. Let's try it on a bag again. Let's try this one. That's a winner. Tote bags are just nice because the, 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 the canvas is square. Like the size of what you're designing on is square and it gives you a really, really nice box to design within. So anything with boxes is gonna, uh, 
automatically be balanced. So I'm gonna download this and we're gonna see what Drew thinks of that one too. He said V retro, it absolutely is V retro. So we're gonna group that and get rid of that. Here's the kicker. This is the one that I wasn't sure about how well it was gonna do, but we're gonna try and we're just gonna see how it does. We're gonna do like this Cupid depiction right here, this illustration. So unfortunately, this does have some things that are in the way of the box that I want to vectorize within. So let's say that you don't have anything like Photoshop or anything that has an eraser tool. We are working on an eraser tool, by the way, it will be here soon. You can even get rid of this stuff in preview. I mean, it's not, it's not that difficult. Just select and get rid of this stuff around that's obstructing the path of what I want to vectorize. I know this is like a really roundabout way and you'd prefer to have a pen tool and eraser tool, it's coming. So just for right now, it's really just anything that is gonna get this out of the way. Delete that. Awesome, now we can, we can crop it from there. We're gonna upload this to Kittle. I know that was a little janky, but hey, it works. And I'm just gonna size this guy up. It's gonna take a second to render. It is a pretty big PNG file. And we're all ready to go, nice and sharp. And then I'm just gonna crop this guy down to just the Archer Child. Exit cropping mode. And then same as before, I'm just gonna up the contrast on this. And we're gonna say one color, vectorize this. It's perfect. It's even got like a couple little specks here and there that are pretty cool. I would keep that. Some Sometimes those little mistakes really make it just raw and human and organic. So we've got something like that. That's awesome. I'm gonna mock this up on a shirt somewhere like right here. It's very tattoo style. Same, same thing again. I'm just gonna go for the bag. We all want that bag. That's, that's awesome. You could put some text here, your little Cupid shuffle or something, you know, just get, have fun with it. Really, the idea here is to have fun. If you're not having a good time, I don't know what any of this is worth, really. Now, of course, I would take a little bit more time with these designs than just taking a picture of something, vectorizing it and slapping it on a shirt. Sometimes that's cool, but other times it's definitely awesome to set with it a little bit, add some text, maybe some other elements. I could definitely see adding some stars around the Cupid thing to make it look like it's kind of floating in the stars. That would be cool. But that's how you can just very easily take photos of stuff with something like a phone and vectorize it in Kittle. Super, super easy and a great way to add some organic elements to your designs. That's all for today. Hey, if you're still watching, thank you so much. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and leave a comment. What are some other things that you wanna see here on the channel? Make sure to like this video as well and just stick around. Watch some of the other tutorials that we have here on the channel and we will see you in the next video.